So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today we're talking about the new Chromecast that's set to hit the shelves any day now. Question is, is this something that you guys are going to add to your Christmas list? This is going to be a game changer. Let's go ahead and jump into the details. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streamer reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So the new Chromecast is gonna hit the shelves sooner than we all imagined. So yesterday, a lot of pictures and videos started surfacing of the new Chromecast, codenamed Sabrina. It was actually available for purchase, so people were able to go into Home Depot as well as Walmart and purchase it. And just like the PlayStation release, this is kind of jumping the gun. So the official Google event is set for September 30th at 11 a.m. and that's when they're set to announce a new pixel as well as the new chromecast so the new tv dongle is called chromecast with google tv and it runs the google tv operating system which is a basic version of android tv so if you guys are used to the nvidia shield or the tivo stream 4k or the Mi box that's the os that you're used to so it's going to be very similar to that so along with the chromecast codename sabrina uh, we also have the remote and the code name for that is Abby. So we have Abby and we have Sabrina. So as far as what we're getting with the new Chromecast, of course we're getting the Google TV operating system. Do get the HDMI 2.1 with Dolby Vision. So huge plus. Now this does support 4K as well as HDR. So on the device itself, we are gonna have the USB-C port on the back. So with that, we should be able to sideload apps, add storage, add USB devices. And this is something that we're gonna test once we get our hands on the device. Now with that, there's also a reset button on the back of the device itself. Now it is oddly shaped, um, oval shaped like an egg. The remote itself is where this device is taking a step in the right direction because previous versions of Chromecast did not have a user interface that you could interact with on your TV. Instead, you had to go to your mobile device, cast or whatever you're doing. There was no UI on the device itself. So with the remote, that means that we should be able to interact with the operating system. And we do have some videos of what the OS is going to look like. And you can see it looks similar to Android TV. And in my opinion, it's more similar to the Fire Stick than it is with android tv but like i said up top you can see the menus up there and you can scroll down to go to the different categories looking at the remote you can see up top we have our directional buttons to the right of that on the side we have a volume up and down we have our back button here we have our google assistant button home mute we have a dedicated youtube button dedicated netflix button it looks like we have a power and possibly an input change button so that's what we're expecting from the actual remote as far as the colors we are going to have some options we're going to have the rock candy camo blue summer melon uh, just to name a few but you can see it's going to be available in a bunch of different colors and curious to see if the remote's actually going to match the color of the device i think it should uh, just to give it a nicer touch now another addition to this device is that with this being a google chromecast at heart this is going to have a low latency mode and what that means is that for anyone that owns Google Stadia, I'm one of those people, uh, you should be able to game directly from this device and it should essentially give you more responsiveness when gaming. So that's something I plan to test out as well. So as far as the price going off of the leaks, folks were able to pick this up for $49 from Home Depot or Walmart. Now there were some leaks on Target where they were priced at $59, but I think what Google's trying to do is get into that sweet, that lower tier price range. So they're looking to directly compete with their Amazon Fire Stick, your TiVo Stream 4K, and the rest of those budget devices that's under $50. So that's all we know right now about the new Chromecast for codename Sabrina, as well as the Chromecast remote code name abby if you have any questions about this drop it in the comment section below like i said we should get more details tomorrow as the google event launches and hopefully those will be readily available for purchase don't forget to like share and subscribe smash the thumbs up let me know your thoughts on the new device and i'll catch you on the next one So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streamer reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell. Make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway.